This is Phone Arena's video review of the LG Dare available through Verizon Wireless. The Dare is a slim and stylish device featuring a large 3 inch touchscreen display, 3.2 megapixel autofocus camera, micro SD memory card slot, and a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. The display is pressure sensitive, similar to the Voyager, instead of being capacitive sensitive like the Glide and iPhone. While the device is in standby, it will show an animated lock icon that you have to press to unlock the display. Once activated, there are five icons across the bottom of the screen for message inbox, dial pad, main menu, contacts list, and favorites. Pressing on the phone icon, will bring up the standard 12 key dial pad. You can use it just like a normal phone's dial pad to enter in a phone number. Or you can press the pin icon to write numbers through the handwriting recognition. One problem we experienced with both the Voyager and the Glide was that it would occasionally enter in the wrong number while we pressed another. We are glad to see that this problem has been resolved with the Dare, as we had no issues using the dial pad. Once a call is placed, the proximity sensor is activated and will automatically turn off the display if it senses it is next to your face and will bring it back on once moved away. Located on the right side of the screen is a small arrow that will take you to the shortcuts menu and will display a total of 11 icons in a grid format. If you select the set, you can customize each one with over 50 choices. You can also drag icons around on the grid to change their locations, as well as dragging icons directly to the desktop. If you no longer want an item on the desktop, you can simply drag it back to the shortcuts arrow. When using the default white theme, the main menu starts off by showing all of its icons scattered around on the screen. You can then drag these around to where you want them. Or press the reset button for them to move back to their original locations. When changing to the black theme, the main menu icons are now shown in a 3x3 grid, but they can no longer be moved around. Pressing on the icons will show a list of available choices for that category. You can move to the next menu by dragging it to the left or to the right of the screen. This can be done fast or very slowly. Categories include Media Center, Messaging, Contacts, Recent Calls, and settings and tools. If the menu list is too long for all of it to fit on the screen, you can move it up slowly or you can flick it up for to scroll through the list fast. Other than the two theme choices, your only other options for customization is to change the wallpaper charging screen, font type, and clock format. The Dare is capable of sending and receiving text, picture, and video messages. When composing a text message, you can enter in the words by using several different methods. The most common are multi-tap and T9 predictive entry. Turning the phone horizontally will automatically bring up the on-screen QWERTY keypad. It works rather well as we only had a few mistakes while typing, but it does feel more cramped than the traditional mechanical QWERTY keypad on the Voyager Glide 
and in V2. The final method is using the handwriting recognition. This is a feature that some smartphones have, but it is the slowest and most problematic method of entering text. Out of the available choices, we found that T9 and QWERTY to be the fastest and most reliable.